Very sensitive issue, I think, in the US, where as in Ghana is not, or you know, in Africa is not, and I'm sure in Cuba and mm -hmm. Latin American countries where it's practiced, it's not that sensitive. Um, and so, me coming here, I think I've had the opportunity to really realize and really look at what it means and why, and then and, and think about the implications of the practice. And a lot of times, people would say, Oh, you know, it's animal cruelty and it's bad um, because animal suffers, and you know, it's and I think that's rooted in the belief that. You know our practices are illegitimate or they're irrational mm -hmm. and that's why because there are no spirits and that's why to be killing an animal for the sake of spirit is you know it's bad or you know, and stuff like that it, it does it, aren't like also the animals like consumed and stuff they are consumed they, they are consumed and that's where you know people are not you know the criticism is not coming in the act but actually the pain the suffering that's what and the, the loss of life that's that's where i think most of the argument is stemming from or you know the suffering and so you know they don't really look at the the holistic practice of mm -hmm. the animal you know has you know a spiritual mission you know and then after that is consumed and is used to strengthen the community you know because after you eat the whole community after you make a sacrifice the whole community would you know come and eat together yeah. which is kind of like a family building uh, like I said but you know it's what I, what I would say um, in response to that is what makes it okay for you know human beings to kill plants and you know not an, like an, not animals is, mm -hmm. is it because the animal is, is I don't think the plant is any less alive than the animal so what's been your experience with something? Um, well, when I was a child, I was taken care of by, I'm not sure where they were from, but they were definitely Caribbean, um, Hispanic people. Um, they took care of me for free. And the mother of the two people that lived in the household primarily was my caretaker, and she was very superstitious. Um, I remember, one instance in particular that I remember was, like, I really sick, I had a really bad strep throat, and the bacteria was, um, in very advanced stages, but my parents didn't take me to the doctor until mm -hmm. afterwards to get antibiotics because, you know, yeah. parents of color don't believe in doctors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, I remember she kept chickens mm -hmm. and um, had, like, I thought they were just for eggs and hens, but apparently mm -hmm. she used them for sacrifice. So when I was sick, she sacrificed a chicken wow. to, I guess. Yeah. Because we, I guess, well not we, but I don't really know if I believe in it or not, but I know she believed that the sickness passes through the sacrifice, mm -hmm. and the you know, Odishas are supposed to help you get better. So, I mean, I don't really know a lot about it, yeah, it's just yeah. memories of some things that she did when I was young, that I was like, oh, I guess that's just normal, but she was super, very superstitious, like she never wanted me to split a pole mm -hmm. and sever your tie between someone. A those pole? That yeah, like if you split a pole or like a tree or any like physical column if you are walking with another person and there's a tree like here and you split it then you sever the friendship or the relationship between you this is a stigma really yeah. that you know our practices are irrational yes, you mm -hmm. know, you don't, you don't know what we're doing and yeah these things that have been there for several hundred years are stupid and that's why they must be stopped um, which i don't agree with because that's you know i think that's a it's a difference of the way you look at the world, mm -hmm. you know, because we believe that the reason why we do blood sacrifice is because, you know, in blood there's life. And so when there is an orisha or there's anything, when you kill that animal, if even if it's physically dead, spiritually it's not dead, it's alive. Because we don't believe in entities existing only physically. Mm -hmm. They exist also spiritually and that's why before you do an animal sacrifice and when you do animal sacrifice it should be done at the last extent it shouldn't it's not just killing taking of life for no reason and in you know this in Ifa, they have this proverb and this this saying that says you know before you before you make a sacrifice when you throw the sign it says okay get a, a needle and then use that needle to prick your child first 
and then let some little blood come out and then take the same needle and go prick a chicken and you see the same blood in the chicken and what that means is that you know your the child also feels pain the same way that chicken that you kill is also mm-hmm. going to feel pain that being said pain and sacrifice i don't think can be removed from this world it's when we eat we make sacrifices of other things things are sacrificed for us to survive mm-hmm. that being said it must be done with utmost respect mm-hmm. and it must be done for true necessity Okay, so that was in DC. Um, did you? So she just kept the chickens around that she would sacrifice normally, or I don't know if she sacrificed them normally, but I know she used to like have them for eggs. Mm-hmm. So maybe every once in a while, because mm-hmm. she didn't have that many. She only had, hmm, excuse me, for the majority of the time I was living with her five, which is a decent amount. They had yeah. a, like a nice. We lived in a nicer area at the time, and they had a little bit of a backyard, so mm-hmm. she kept chickens. Um, sometimes I have to go and get the eggs in the morning, mm-hmm. but um, I remember that specifically. She sacrificed the chicken, I guess, for my health, and I did get better eventually. So wow, maybe it did have something to do with it. But I've never really considered it as like I've never really knew it was like another religion or wow anything like that until recently when I was just like, oh, Odishas, I know what Odishas are, and then I like looked it up and I was like. Santeria, what is this? And then watch it, learn some new black, they made references to it. What did you it. think when you saw it on TV? I was like, oh, he's just like, <laughs> just the small references and like the um, taking the egg and like rolling it against the person's oh, body. Yeah, I don't know what that yeah, means because yeah. I don't think, I don't think, I've, I don't remember that ever happening to me, but I know <laughs> they didn't have any scene where they fumigated anyone, I don't think, but I've been fumigated before to purify the wow. spirit because you know you, if you believe you have to wash your physical body you probably have to wash your spiritual body as well